Okay, so I'm going to talk about a few of the new features of uh, Vosic Station version 8.2.2. Let me check my file here just to double sure. 8.2.2. So, okay. One of the new things is that we have a an effects version now. So let me bring up my sonar here. And I'm going to quickly show to you uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, in the meanwhile, let's, let me take a quick look. So we have MIDI file support. We have our option to rename layers, LFOs and modulations. And um, we also have some other options, SFZ exporting, uh, here. So I'm going to create a quick, quick new project here. And I'm going to show to you. So let's say I have my Vuzik station here. Station version 8 per bit, and this is the new version already 8.2.2. Okay, but I can also use as an effect. So here I have an effect, I can insert an audio effect, and now I'm going to have a music station version 8 effects 64 bits. And, uh, the insert effect for the first layer is going to be the insert for this particular effect and the others are going to be send one and send two as you have here already and you can see that by default you have the audio input going to the, the interface to the engine and then you have the effect one going to the send effects one so we can use like that so it's, it's very easy to use Another option we have is MIDI support. So I can go here on the preset MIDI files and I can add a MIDI file. Let me check my MIDI files here. I have a few examples. So I have this ARP 108. So if I click here, it's going to play. And uh, I can adjust, let's say, It loud, I know. But there's an, a neat option. You just right click, and you're going to see that some extra options here. There's autoplay. The autoplay is way to play as soon as you load the preset. The loop is going to loop until you press again to stop. And you can also assign a key, or you can assign any key and use the transpose key then it's going to transpose from the center key so this is a very neat idea uh, I've, I already shared it on the, our forum this preset here made you play with key tracking so you can have a better idea It's a very uh, great idea. Another thing, you have a panic uh, option here, but you can also right click on the Vuzik logo and it's going to panic. Let's say, 
I just right click it and it's stuck in the node. So it's just a shortcut. It's not, not very special about it, but it helps. So the MIDI files, you can do a, actually a lot of things with the MIDI files because you can use the, the latch option. You can assign to the different keys the different files. And uh, you can also the panic key. Right now there's no panic key, but you can assign one. And you can also export the MIDI file because when you, when you add a MIDI file, it's going to be saved inside the preset. It's not going to uh, link to the original file. No, it's going to insert in the preset file, but you can uh, always export the file if you want, or MIDI file. And it works great. It's pretty, uh, pretty neat new option. Another thing I was talking about, you can now have a few extra options when you right click on the layer here. Uh, this also works with Fuzik 8000. So it works on both Fuzik 8000 and Fuzik Station. And the, these options here is the output. You can select output for a layer. Fuzik 8000 also has that. And you can also rename a layer. Let's say my test sound one. There we go, my test sound one. You can rename layers now, something you, you couldn't do before. And on the modulation area, you can also uh, rename envelopes, filter. Crazy effects. You can do, you can add different names. And you can see here on the top, the crazy effects. <laughs> is going to the selector wave selector. So it's morphing the 3A waves, I think, wave one, two, and three, using a fade option for the morphing. You can see here that the maximum amount is 0 0.13. So it's not fading and morphing all the layers. <laughs> And I'm using this nice custom long reverse delay effect. So you also improve it. Now when you add a new effect, so let's say we're going to add a new effect. It's going to show the, the basic effects, the VST effects from the VSTs folder, and the custom effects. So it's it's much faster now to add those. And the same thing for the filters. When I add a new filter, it's going to show the custom filters to on a list, so it's much faster to add. Um, let me check on my list here. What else? Oh, you can move up and down the effects and filters. So if I have more than one filter and I'm using the, them in series, not in parallel, I can move the filter up and down on the list to get the sound the way I want. And the same thing with the effects. You can move up and down depending on what I want. Now you have the multiple outputs, 16 stereo outputs. Oh, preset options for presets. Uh, you can see now the, the effects have, have presets. Even the custom effects one. Third delay, presets, and so it's, you can save a new preset there. Uh, the modulation matrix, now you can go here and say, I want a different destination here. Just click it and select a different destination or a different source. You can see that now I can do that directly there. And also added SFZ exporting. So let me load the sample player. Now I can open the JIT zones and select export zones in SFZ format. And it's going to open me the dialog to select. Let's test. 
then it's going to allow me to use wave or flag when possible because flag is not supported by everything or just wave, wave. just going to select wave and let me take a quick look at the resulting file here we are we have the test file here So have just one region because it's just a sine waveform and the samples is going to be on the test and there is the wave file so it's very simple let me delete this because I want this and uh, besides uh, I have improved the, the sounds download process I fixed a lot of stuff here for music station and some things for Vosic 8000 as well. So this is just a quick look at what changed. Uh, some people may say, oh, that's not much, but it was a lot of work. <laughs> so believe me, it, it is a lot of stuff. And uh, I'm going to do another video showing some other things soon. But in the meanwhile, let me showcase again the MIDI player. We have my ARP 128 bits per minute here loaded. That's it. I just click it panic here to stop the song. And that's it. So I hope you guys like these new features. And till the next time, thanks for watching.